Today I'm going to show you my pick of the apps that I must have on my Fire TV stick. Those apps that I 100% would never uninstall. But I also want to know, what's your favourite app? What's the app that you could never ever live without on your Fire Stick? Let me know in the comments section and also let me know if there's a, an app on this list that I've missed. This video is sponsored by Amersoft Video Converter Tool. So what is Amersoft Video Converter Tool? Well, it's a tool where you can convert any video format over 250 and counting into any other video format. Typically 30 times faster by the way and it also supports audio conversion too. You can download videos from YouTube, Vimeo, Facebook, many 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 other sites as well. You can compress audio and create Blu-rays, DVDs and even CDs. There's also a handy tool section where you can screen record, create GIFs, compress video and even a tool to fix video metadata. And if you're really quick, they've got a sale on until the end of the year where you can save up to 40%. It really is pretty awesome. If you're interested, you'll find links at the top of the description. This one might actually already be installed on your Fire Stick. It is the Silk browser, but if it isn't, then it's easy enough to get. You just go up to the search bar here and you put in Silk. You can also have Firefox as well. All you do is highlight it and click it, and that's what it is, it's internet. So if you just click on that, it opens up and you've got an internet browser on your Fire Stick. And you've also got a mouse here built in. You can do a limited search with it as well, just using the microphone function on your remote. Star Wars. And all you do is click on internet, and it'll do a quick search on that topic. This one, we need an internet browser already installed, and that's why I put internet browser as the first one. This one's called Bookmarker. And here we are, we've got one, we've also got Bookmarker for Roku, two, three, four, five, we've also got one for YouTube as well. Now what this is, it's a shortcut, it's one click to a URL of your choice, i.e. a web page. So all we do to set it up is we just click it and install it. Then we open it up and here we are. This is where we put in our address for where we want the bookmark to send us to. What I like to use this for is to test my internet speed. So I'm gonna put in fast.com. And then all we do is save settings, click on that. And this is a very important step here. You've got to click on start using your bookmarker, the big yellow button there. It'll then take us back here. And then if we click on the select button again, it takes us straight through to fast.com and it's now telling us exactly what internet speed I am achieving right now. And then you can do the same with two, three, four, install everyone separately for each web page that you want bookmarked. This next one is probably the most important app that you can have on your Fire Stick. And you've probably already got it, but if you don't, it's called Downloader. Click on that to open it up. Now, what is Downloader? Well, essentially it is a browser, albeit uh, not as good as Silk browser, but essentially it's a way for you to install third party apps onto your Fire Stick. There's one thing that you have to make sure is enabled. Go into settings and make sure enable JavaScript is ticked. There's also a couple of settings that have to be turned on within your Fire Stick. Again, you will probably already have this already, but if you haven't, go back to the home screen, along to settings. Then we're going along to My Fire TV, down to Developer Options, and make sure that your AD debugging and your apps from unknown sources are both on. Next, we have another essential app that you must have on your Fire Stick. It's called ES File Explorer. ES File Explorer. That's it there. Now, if you just click on that, ES File Explorer is basically just like your file explorer you've got on your PC. Essentially, you can reach all the files that you can't normally reach as standard on your Fire TV stick. So to analyze your storage, you can access your network. You've also got a handy tools section as well. 
And I could probably do a complete video on ES File Explorer. There's so much that you can do with it. Next we have YouTube. Now do I really have to explain what YouTube's all about? You're watching it right now. This is great app, an essential app. You can watch all your favorite YouTubers on the big screen. And because YouTube is a search engine like Google, you can use Alexa as well to search for things on YouTube. Stu's tech time. Now I'm beginning to understand why my video views are so low. <laughs> Next on my list is Plex. So what is Plex? Well, Plex is a piece of software that I use to view my movies that I own myself, that I've got on a hard drive, and also my home movies as well, so I can view them on the big screen. Now, another popular piece of software for this is Kodi as well. Now, if you're interested in that, I'll put a link in the top right-hand corner right now for our video uh, on Kodi. So why do I pick Plex. I just find that the user interface is better, more pleasing to my eye, and just an all-round better usability. Now, if you are interested in knowing how to use Plex or how to set up Plex, let me know in the comments section and I can make a video about that. Now, another reason why Plex has got the edge is that it's just recently changed and you can also now stream legally movies and TV shows. Not only that, but web shows, news, podcasts and even music. Now, these are completely free. All you have to do is create a free account and you can stream all these ad-supported TV shows and movies. They're getting added to all the time, and albeit they're not A-list titles, but there are a few gems in there, no question. And last on my list is a VPN. So, do you need a VPN? I only use a VPN to access geo-locked content so when I'm using a Fire Stick and I want to access Netflix in the USA, I will sign into one of my VPNs, I will connect to an American server, and I will then sign in to Netflix and I will get American Netflix. Other than that, when it comes to my Fire Stick, I do not use a VPN. A couple of things of note, if you've got a first gen or second gen Fire Stick, then a VPN will not work on your system because it will take up so much processing power that everything else will come to a halt. If you're using a 4K Fire Stick, yes, it'll work fine. If you're on any sort of Amazon device over and above that, then a VPN will run very, very well. If you are looking for a VPN, the two that I use is IP Vanish and just recently CyberGhost. And the speeds I've been getting from CyberGhost have been particularly good, but on a Fire Stick, they're not going to be as good as if you've got them on a PC or on a Mac. VPNs are not free, although you can get a free VPN, but in my opinion, I do not use them. Your opinion may be different, and that's fine. I, all our advisors do your own research, but the paid VPNs aren't particularly expensive. So you're probably asking why is this on the essential list? I use a VPN regularly on my Fire Stick because I like to access geo-locked content like USA Netflix and that's why it's on this list. Okay, I hear you asking what if I am using a third-party app? Then that is a judgment call for you. A VPN will only hide what you're doing. So it's not going to protect you from hackers. Um, it, all it will do is disguise what your ISP is seeing. Your ISP will see that you are using a VPN and nothing else. So a VPN will not protect yourself from hackers or anything like that or viruses. If you think you're going to get in trouble from your ISP for using some third party software, then that's a judgment call and uh, a VPN will certainly disguise what you are using your internet for. There you go, that's my pick of the apps that I must have on my Fire TV stick. So, did I miss any out? Is there one that you would definitely have on your Fire TV stick? Let me know in the comments section, I'd be really, really interested to hear them. So, thanks for watching and always stay frosty.